going on everyone? This is Dr. Gano now. Today, we have a Madden 19 experiment. We're going to see if a team of rookies from the 2018 draft class can win a Super Bowl. We're going to give it three seasons to see if they can progress well enough and do the dang thing. So let's look at the roster. Here is a look of a roster starting at quarterback. We got Baker Mayfield, the number one overall pick. He has been by far the best out of all the rookie quarterbacks. And we are using the Cleveland Browns in this simulation, so go figure. I graded out Mayfield as a bust. It looks like I'm wrong, but a player I was not wrong about is Saquon Barkley. I thought this guy would be a superstar, and I'm right. He made the Pro Bowl, even though the Giants offensive line is horrendous. And he has been super good for the Giants. And then Nick Chubb has had an exceptional season in Cleveland. Could have gone with Carrion Johnson, but stick it with Chubb. At fullback, Nick Bowden was the only fullback drafted this year and he was actually drafted by my Detroit Lions in the seventh round and he has been on IR all year hasn't played it down but he's still a fullback I guess wide receiver DJ Moore from the Carolina Panthers he's had an up and down season I think an 80 is a little bit generous I'd say probably 77 Dante Pettis he's had a pretty good year in San Francisco good deep threat and I guess nice hair Calvin Ridley for the Atlanta Falcons. He had an insane start to the year, and he has cooled off a little bit, but he's still a good player. I think 79 is a little bit harsh. I'd give him like an 82. And then Cortland Sutton, he was my number one receiver in this draft, and he's been meh. He's been all right. He doesn't look like a bust, but he doesn't look great. Tight end Dallas Goddard. He is the backup to Zach Ertz, who might be the best tight end in football, but Goddard's had a solid year in Philly. And then Mark Andrews. He has been better than his teammate Hayden Hurst. Of course, the Ravens picked Hayden Hurst in the first round, who also plays tight end, and Andrews in the third round, and I think Andrews has certainly outplayed him. Uh, at left tackle, Mike McGlinchey, probably more of a right tackle, but he's had a really good year in San Francisco. Left guard, Quentin Nelson, I think he's by far the best rookie in this year's class. He should be at least a 92-93 overall. That 84 just makes no sense to me. Center James Daniels really liked him coming out of college, and he's been solid for the Bears. Right guard Frank Ragnell, the first round pick for my Detroit Lions. I was pretty disappointed with the pick at the beginning. I thought we could have picked someone better, like a James Daniels, and I would have preferred like Darius Geis or Harold Landry at the time. But Ragnell's been all right for us this year. He's been pretty good. Then right tackle Brandon Smith from the Indianapolis Colts. He's been a very solid player on their offensive line. At left end, we got Deshaun Hand from my favorite team, of course, the Lions. Picked him the fourth round. He has been a pleasant surprise. He doesn't really fit the personnel of this team as we are a 4-3. And he's playing defensive end and he's more of a 3-4 end. But whatever, we'll make it work. Uh, at right end, we got Bradley Chubb from the Denver Broncos. He has 12 sacks. He's been outstanding alongside Von Miller. At defensive tackle, Deron Payne and Vita Vea, both first rounders for the Redskins and Bucks, respectively, and they've both had pretty good years. At left outside linebacker, Darius Leonard, what a huge Pro Bowl snub. He absolutely deserved to make it. Middle linebacker, Roquan Smith, he has been pretty good for the Bears this year. He hasn't been outstanding, but he has been good. Then at right outside, Leighton Van Der Esch for the Dallas Cowboys. That was a great pick. I wasn't huge on it at the time, but still a really good pick for them. Now at the cornerback position, Denzel Ward, of course, still on the Cleveland Browns. I questioned this pick at the time. I thought they should have gone with Chubb or Nelson. And obviously, neither of those picks would have been bad. But I think they're happy with Denzel Ward. He has been really good. Made for Pro Bowl and for good reason. Jair Alexander, kind of sad he's doing well for the Packers. But at the same time, good for him, I guess. Mega Fitzpatrick, beast in the Dolphins series. And he's been pretty good in real life. And then Dante Jackson has been very solid in real life for Carolina. That three safety, Justin Reed, he's been a beast for the Texans this year. And strong safety, Derwin James, one of the best rookies in the NFL. He made the Pro Bowl, probably the third best rookie, I'd say, behind uh, Quentin Nelson and Saquon Barkley. Derwin James has just been amazing for the Chargers. Jason Sanders at kicker, of course, playing for the Miami Dolphins. He's had a solid year. And then Michael Dixon, the Pro Bowl punter for the Seattle Seahawks. He's played well for them as well. So, I believe we are at 82 overall, I want to say, 82, 83. Um, yeah, 82, 81 offense, 89 defense, 30 players on our team. That seems weird, but there you go, I guess. So, we're going to send the first season. Let's see how this team does. 
Holy cow, we now have 31 players. Would you look at that? I would have expected the game to sign up to 53 players so we'd have a full roster, but the only player they signed was Sam Bradford, so I might as well just cut him because there's no point in having him. The season is in the books, and as you can see, it looks like we've made a first round buy. Look at all these skill points. DJ Moore has five. Saquon and Baker have four. Ridley has three. Derwin James has nine. Denzel Ward has six. Alexander has three. Deron Payne has three. Manka has three. Roquan has seven. Justin Reed has four. And our record was 12 and four. All right. So let's take a look at the stats real quick. Baker and Mayfield. A little bit too many interceptions. I cut Sam Bradford in the game, signed him again, but whatever. Uh, rushing the ball, Saquon was outstanding. Nick Chubb, pretty good. Receiving DJ Moore, very good. Calvin Ridley, very good. Dallas Goddard, pretty good. Um, outside of Mike McGlinchey, the O-line was excellent. Uh, Roquan Smith led in tackles. Sacks went to Bradley Chubb. Interceptions, I see a five. Denzel Ward had four. Derwin James had five. So how high did our players finish? In awards and stuff. I see John Gruden is already fired. As Baker Mayfield is 6. An MVP. I assume we have both rookie of the years. Baker Mayfield. Saquon. Ridley. Moore. Chubb. Goddard. Roquan. Derwin. Leighton. Van Der Esch, Denzel Ward. Justin Reed. Darius Leonard. Jair Alexander. So obviously a common theme of a lot of our players. Here's a look at the team with their skill points put on. Baker Mayfield is now an 89 with superstar development. The offense, 85 overall, looks really good. Defense, 95 overall. Derwin James is a 98. Roquan is a 90 with superstar. Denzel Ward, 91. This is a damn good-looking team. So we're going to send to the Super Bowl. I doubt we make it, but anything's possible. Unfortunately, we are not in the Super Bowl. It's a rematch between the Patriots and the Falcons. But we did make the conference championship, so I guess that's good. This is a lot of players we need to re-sign. Yeet! Here's a look of a team headed into season number two. Obviously, the team isn't really different in any way. There are now 40 players. I'm not going to take the time to cut everyone. It doesn't really matter. So hopefully this team can do pretty well. We actually did worse this year, but if you look at the top left, we didn't do too much worse as beat the Bills 48 to nothing but we go 11 and 5 we make the playoffs looking at the skill points Bradley Chump has 6 Denzel Ward has 8 Derwin James is going to be a 99 and on the offense Baker has 4 Quentin Nelson has 3 DJ Moore has 5 again and our record is 11 and 5 as we showed so looking at the stats Baker Mayfield I guess a little bit worse Davis Webb is now our backup Running the ball, Saquon outstanding again. Nick Chubb, all right. Uh, Dallas Goddard was our best receiver. DJ Moore also had a good year. Dante Pettis led in yards. Looking at tackles, that actually went to Leighton Van Der Esch. I see 15 sacks from Bradley Chubb. And then interception, 7 from Denzel Ward. 2 from Derwin James and Jair Alexander. So we have a number one offense. And how about our defense? Was our defense any good? Second. That's pretty solid. That doesn't usually get you 11 wins. That usually gets you more. Baker finished in 8th. Offensive player of the year. Kareem Hunt on the Broncos. Defensive player of the year. Will we get anyone? Of course we don't. Obviously we didn't have a rookie of the year. Since none of these guys are, are rookies anymore. Here's a look at the offense. 91 overall. Looking very solid. Baker Mayfield 93. Barkley 94. Dallas Goddard 85 with star development now. O-line looks pretty good. And 99 overall defense. Denzel Ward's a 99. Derwin James is a 99 of a whole defense. Looks spectacular. Bradley Chubb now has superstar development. He's a 92 overall. Let's do the dang thing. Unfortunately, once again, we are not in the Super Bowl. It is the Bucks and the Steelers. A little surprised the, the Bucks made it. We once again made the conference championship. And we once again lost a close game at home. 31-28. So hopefully season three can be the year that we finally do it. Here is a look at the team for the third and most likely final season. This team is pretty darn good. 92 overall, 91 offense, 99 defense. I think this team has Super Bowl talent. Will it happen? We'll see. For the third straight season, we make the playoffs going 10 and 6. 
but we didn't even win our division, so we regressed again. Uh, looking at the skill points, Baker Mayfield is two, DJ Moore three on the defense. Bradley Chubb has four. Uh, Denzel Ward has three. So let's take a look at the stats. Carson Wentz wins MVP. I don't really care. Baker Mayfield had a okay year, I guess. That's solid. Saquon Barkley, tremendous again. Dallas Goddard, good year. DJ Moore, good year. Defense, Roquan led in tackles. Roquan with six and a half sacks. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, did he lead? No, he did not lead. Bradley Chubb with ten and a half interceptions. Six from Denzel Ward. She whiz. Three from Jair Alexander. Two from Derwin. Mika and Justin. Here's a look of the squad headed into the playoffs. 95 offense, 99 defense. A bunch of development traits actually went down, which didn't really surprise me too much. So hopefully this team can finally get over that hump and make the Super Bowl. Alrighty, folks. Here we go. Moment of truth. The all-rookie team. Are they in the Super Bowl? Nope. It's a battle of Los Angeles. Of course, we don't. We probably lost in the conference championship again. I'll bet. I'll bet $20 that we lost in the conference championship again. Oh, we did it. Did we even win our first round game? Okay, we did. We lost in the second round. So each year, we won one playoff game. Actually, I think last year we won two. But we could just never get over that hump. This was a super good team. But in Madden's eyes, not good enough. <laughs>